Got in trouble? Well, don't worry guys, as in today's video, I'm gonna be showing you how you can recover your lost or deleted WhatsApp messages from your iPhone. Now with this method guys, you're gonna be able to recover not only your WhatsApp messages, but also WhatsApp attachments including photos, videos, documents, voice memos, and etc. And what's so cool about this method is that you're gonna be able to recover your lost WhatsApp data without having your WhatsApp backup. What is up everybody? My name is Saf and thank you so much for stopping by my video. If you guys are new here kindly consider subscribing to this channel and if you're gonna press the bell icon I'm gonna send you a notification every time I upload a brand new video just like this one Alright guys, so for this video, we're going to be using Alt Data Recovery software from Tenosher. You guys can download this software through the link that I have provided down in the description of this video. This app offers a lot of cool features other than just WhatsApp data recovery, like backup and restore option for a lot of third-party apps, including WeChat, WhatsApp, and Line Messenger. You can learn more about that by checking their website. Okay, so once you have downloaded the app, go ahead and install it onto your PC. After that, open it up. Now, upon opening the app, you will find four options. So you can recover data of over 35 different file types, such as iMessages, contacts, photos, etc. You can also recover and preview your data from your iTunes backup. You can also recover your data from iCloud. And lastly, you also get that feature that can fix different iOS related issues if you have any onto your iPhone through this awesome software. All right, so for this video, we're gonna be going with the first option of data recovery. Now here, you will be asked to connect your iPhone. So go ahead and do that. And after that, you will be taken to this screen. Now, this is very important, guys. So as you can see, you can not only recover your WhatsApp data, but also data of your phone's system apps, including photos, videos, contacts, messages, Safari history, and so on. Another thing which I really appreciate about this app is the fact that you also get the option to recover data from third-party applications. Well, that's the kind of the stuff you don't get to see from other data recovery software. Offers. Pretty cool. All right, so I'll be just selecting WhatsApp, but you guys can go ahead and select other apps as well if you wish so. Okay, so once you have made the selection, tap on the scan button. Now guys, this scanning process is gonna take a lot of time. It can go over 30 minutes, maybe 50 minutes. Well, uh, it all depends upon the amount of data that you have lost onto your iPhone. Just give it some time and please don't disconnect your iPhone while the scanning process goes on as that can hamper the process. Okay, so once the scanning is finally done, you will be presented with this screen. Over here, as you guys can see, I've got a lot of data thrown at me. Well, the fact is, this app will not only show you the lost data, but also the data that's currently present onto your iPhone. Okay, now if you look at the very left, you've got two tabs, one for WhatsApp messages, while the other for WhatsApp attachments. Now currently, I am under the WhatsApp messages tab, and as you guys can see, I can get inside of any conversation from this window and I can even preview the messages with of course the photos and videos. Now what's impressive about this data recovery is the fact that this app even pulls out the status photos out of your WhatsApp of the people that you have stored up onto your mobile phone. Even if you never clicked on the people's statuses, this app will still show you all of those statuses. Well, that's pretty impressive. Okay, moving on to the next Next tab, we have got WhatsApp attachments. Tapping on that will give you four different file types. So if you've got documents, photos, audio files, and videos. First of all, let's take a look at photos since they are quite a lot in number. So as you guys can see, I've got a total of 193 photos shown to me over here. Now you can also preview each photo if you wish so by simply double tapping on it. So let me go ahead and quickly show you guys a couple of these. So as you can see, they are absolutely in great quality. All right, now just like that, you guys can also preview other stuff under the WhatsApp attachments tab too. Now you guys might be thinking, all right, we have previewed the data, but how can we save that onto our PC now? Well, that's quite simple. Let me show you guys how you can do that. 
I'm going to select a bunch of photos that I want to be recovered onto my PC. And in addition to that, I'll select some other stuff as well, like document files, audio files, and one video. Okay. Once I have made this selection, I'll tap this button over here, which says recover to PC. After that, it will ask me where I would like to save the data. So let me quickly go ahead and choose the destination. All right. After that, I'll tap on the OK button. Now, within a couple of seconds, all of my stuff will be recovered. Tapping on this OK button will take me to the stuff that I just recovered. And as you guys can see, I finally have the stuff recovered onto my PC. Let me quickly go ahead and open up some of the photos in front of you guys just to show you the HD quality. All right, going back, let's take a look at the documents. So as you guys can see, if we've got some PDF files over here, uh, let me open up one of these. And as you guys can see, these also work without any issues. All right, guys, now I want to show you one more thing. Well, since I've got my iTunes backup stored up onto my PC, I want to show you guys how you can recover your lost data through that route as well. Now, if I go ahead and tap on this button, I'll be taken to this window. Now, I'll go ahead and import my iTunes backup file into this app. So once you have selected your iTunes backup file, simply tap on OK. Soon after that, you've get the details of your backup file onto this window. Now just for the record guys, I'm going to show you that this is a huge backup. As you guys can see, it is almost taking 40 gigabytes. So you can imagine the amount of stuff that I have compiled up into the single backup file. All right, enough of the talk. Let me quickly go ahead and tap on the next button. And just like that, as you guys can see, just like with the previous option, this app is also giving me the freedom to select the app out of which I want to pull the data. So simply select the app and tap on the scan button to begin the scanning process. All right, guys, now it's time to talk about the pricing. Now, although you guys can get a handful of features of this app for absolutely free, including the preview feature, but I would recommend you guys to purchase the license to unlock the full potential of this app. Now, as you guys can see if you've got three types of license over here, which are quite affordable. You guys can also get a massive discount using the discount code that I have provided down in the description of this video. So yeah, guys, this wraps up the video. Hope you all enjoyed it. If you have any questions, kindly let me know in the comments down below and I'll see you all next time.